you can get glutamine at health food store. In fact, uh, early on, like 20 years ago, that's what we were thinking about doing. Then I realized that the what's on the store in the store is uh, very inconsistent. Some of them are very poor in quality. Some of them are better in quality, yet uh, quality is not always consistent. So then uh, after discussion with the uh, regulatory agencies, we decided to stick to the uh, farm should go great. Uh, this way, uh, we can make sure that patient is uh, receiving uh, pure and regulated product. Uh, there are several reasons for doing this. By b making this pharmaceutical, we're going to take away this financial burden to our patients because most likely insurance will cover. The other reason is that um, uh, you know another amino acid, uh, actually this amino acid was uh, quite popular in 1980s called tryptophan. And a lot of physicians prescribe this one to patients over-the-counter form. And because it became so popular, uh, some of the companies uh, freely decide to uh, come on board in producing uh, tryptophan. And uh, one company had impurity which wasn't regulated and a lot of people died because of this. And many people who didn't die still have uh, sequelae from this. This is the reason why we decided that for medical reason and for uh, financial reasons, uh, we should stick to uh, a pharmaceutical grade glutamine. And the data that we have on all our clinical trial is only on pharmaceutical grade glutamine. This is something that I do not recommend uh, for several reasons uh, because uh, over-the-counter glutamine is not regulated and the quality uh, is not consistent. Um, right now uh, we are trying to make sure that uh, we are going to be able to provide the glutamine that is safe and also effective. One of the things that I'm really concerned is that because we have to provide this large amount of L-glutamine to patients essentially every day for the rest of their lives uh, to have uh, the effect, it takes only one dose of uh, bad glutamine to cause problem. Uh, and I'm saying this uh, from the uh, experience of the medical community. In 1980s, uh, this uh, amino acid similar to glutamine became very popular and many physicians were uh, providing uh, over-the-counter form uh, and uh, this led to a disease uh, called uh, eosinophilic fasciitis which led to a lot of death. This can happen only with one dose of bad uh, amino acid and in order to prevent this it's absolutely essential that we try to stick to regulated uh, glutamine and also, I want to add that at this point, uh, this is still an investigational uh, product. So um, all the patients who are interested, or all the provider that's interested in this uh, product, um, if they want to direct questions to us, uh, we'd be happy to answer. Uh, and um, uh, it's absolutely important that uh, uh, the patients will uh, consult with their physician.